beast, didn't they? Chuffed to bits. The smallest little thorn back there. I'm just concentrate on not leaving the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boat. Covered him, man. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same same all the time. We want something different, a good old show. Hello and welcome to the channel. We're out on my favourite boat, Laura Dawn 2, with my favourite skipper, Lee Taylor. I'm not going to let him hear that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a discount. <laughs> and I've got the McSee K's with me. So we've got Luke McCow and Darren McCow. We're both hooked up. And the funny thing is, I'm harnessed 50 pound rod into a skate. That's where I'm at. Darren's harnessed up 50 pound rod into a skate. Luke is on a scratching rig <laughs> on light gear hooked into a skate. <laughs> 20 pound, a 12 to 20 pound rod may I add. <laughs> nice little salt is real doing the business. So we're all hooked up um, and it's now the long game. So the weather has been changeable. The sunshine's followed us throughout. And I've got a bend in a 50 pound rod. <laughs> so we are fishing with a 50 pound full rollered Beastmaster, 70 pound mono, and one of Lee Taylor's skate rigs. <laughs> and that is where I'm at. <sighs> So if I think there's one thing that's going to happen in this video, it's going to take a while. Let's, let's lift my cat mark, lift my cat mark, because you can't see my face, but it is doing its job. Um, yeah. <laughs> what can I say other than we're butching big fish. <clears throat> and mine doesn't even know it's hooked yet. Hasn't moved off the bottom. Because it hasn't moved off the bottom, it hasn't made any runs. I did hook into a fish previously, which was a reasonable size male. Had five runs out of that fish, which is un it's unusual actually. Usually one or two runs, five is unusual. And then I lost it on the surface. So we didn't see that fish. Didn't even have the chance to put the camera on. <laughs> but we are in triple hookup, um, double jeopardy trying to gain some line. It's worth talking about how I'm going to play this, how you play these fish. So there is a constant bend in the rod until that rod tip starts to rise and the rod starts to straighten out without straightening out then we wind back down into it and we and we repeat. At the moment my rod tip is constant and there's nothing more I can put into that because the drag's set and the line's got 70 pound braking strain. Just wait for that to um, tune in. So it's my estimation that this fish is more than 70 pound. It's certainly more than 50 pound the class of the rod. So you've got to angle it. You can't just butch it and beat it. This fish at the moment is hunkered down and stuck to the bottom. Any turns I'm making on this reel is just the stretch in the mono. The fish hasn't left the bottom yet. So this is the waiting game. Anything changes, I'll get back to you in a bit. It's decided to go back down again. <laughs> I'll put the clicker on just so you can hear that. <laughs> so the name of the game with this fish, big fish stuff is to only pull when you can and stop when you can't. Rod straightening itself up again. And it's 466 feet we're fishing in at the moment. And my fish really wants to go back to the bottom. I 
I think this might be my stick of fish, mate. Possibly. Early to call it, but it certainly it certainly feels significant. I sort of get five or ten foot and it takes it straight back. And then it spat its dummy and just took it all back. If I've gone quiet, it's because there's not much to say. <laughs> I am. It's on its, it's on its way. It's going to come say hi. <laughs> sudden the sun's come out I've got a hoodie on I've got um, waterproof clothing on Gore-Tex clothing sun's come out and the temperature's raised by about seven or eight degrees it's screaming hot now I might have to break out the mankini this rod's working lovely I just load it up and then the rod gives it back I've got my trace and this is an absolute plane <laughs> don't you go again oh mate this is this is a donkey what do you reckon on that one then mate what 120 125 let it go if it wants to oh. Uh, 
They're frisky, aren't they, the males, compared to the yeah. females? 76, 56. 76, 56. <sighs> <laughs> it's getting camera shot. <laughs> so, Lee's just gone to do the measurements. We're just about to get ready to release this fish. Luke is still into his common skate on a six to 12 pound rod. Is it a 12, six to 12 or 12 to 20? 12 to 20. 12 to 20. Darren's into his on a 50 class rod. 115. 115 male. So we're gonna get ready to release this creature back to the sea. See if we can get a decent shot of him going back. Whew. Tidy boy. There he goes. Let's make sure he doesn't foul hook himself or foul line himself. Still going. Burp of, burp of air and away he goes. So it's just taking a couple of minutes out, just about to bait up. This is the actual rod reel combo that I just landed that fish in. So it is a Mitchell 3050 Ti. A Shimano Beastmaster, 50 pound class rod, full roller, and the rig itself, just make some space there. The rig itself, very, very special. So, must add hook. 10 or 12 oh hooks here, buddy. It's either a 10 or 12 oh, they're really busy at the back of the boat. With no barbs, to a swivel ring. A boom, plastic pipe, and the weight is actually attached to the pipe. If the fish does break the rig, it doesn't carry the weight. That's what we're using, and I'm gonna have to shoot off because I want to see what this is. <laughs> we need to see this. <laughs> so very quickly, on a 12-20 rod, we're gonna measure that, and that is an absolute that's some good knot tying. <laughs> Show us the rig on that, what you've just had that mate. Just stay where you are, stay where you are. You so go. we have got, what size hooks are they? 4 row maybe? 4 row, 12 ounce weight, light gear, really light. 12 nice. to 20 pound rod. Yeah, nice little rail. And that well. is what he's just brought in. <laughs> that is top angling buddy. Well yeah, done, mate. well done. Congratulations. You deserve a handshake for that. <laughs> what a cracker. What an absolute cracker. I'll put the rod next to that, mate, and uh, get a photo, mate. Only five minute rest. <laughs> rest beat up, get down. <laughs> right, I need to bait up and get down. So the baiting up for this is pretty interesting. Mackerel, it's already been used. Use it again. Absolutely no reason to waste it. Just literally, just smash it on get it all the way up as far up the line as we can just loading the line and then we will use no, no. 119 half a dog ship a dog a dog ship a dogfish that is what's going out Luke's fish has just measured and been weight converted to 119 pound on a 12 to 20 ugly stick rod. <laughs> what else that going? <laughs> right, I need to get this in. I've probably made about 50 feet on this and it's just taken 30 back. <sighs> and it's going to take some more. <sighs> but if it wants to take it, you've got to let it. <sighs> yeah, it's going again. <laughs> <laughs> That's as much drag as I dare. And that is proper tight. Not just a little bit tight, proper tight. And yeah, it's just as painful as it looks. <laughs> It's hard to describe as well, isn't it? Because unless you've actually done it, people don't understand, but I'm not being patronizing that. It's one of those things you either, oh yeah. 
<laughs> and as I was trying to explain earlier on, you load the rod up as much as you dare, and then you reel down and load the rod again. This fish is a heavy fish because the rod doesn't ever straighten up. I'm having to wind into it. That is the constant weight of the fish. It's a 50-80 rod. Well, welcome back. We're towards the back end of the day. We're going to go and play somewhere else for some smaller species. Luke's into his third skate of the day. Darren's had two, including the 201. I'll be putting a picture in of that in a second. Stunning fish. Um, and I've had two, two males, both 115 pound. Two different males, that is. So, what's been the highlights? Watching father and son fish together, it's been amazing. Um, if you haven't already, check out Squidward 3, their YouTube channel. Amazing South Coast anglers, family fishing, husband and wife and son, always out in the Solent and behind the needles, all the South Coast regions with a stunning boat. Um, and watching the fish together today has been a, a real joy. Luke, stunning angling earlier on. 12 to 20 class rod, had a 119 pound skate on a two hook scratching rig. We were doing a bit of a species hunt and that was taken by a skate. Um, immediately followed by Darren, Luke's dad, um, a 201, hauled in a 201. So I will put that picture up as well, because that is a cracking picture. Um, so, another stunning day, Laura Dawn 2. If you fancy a go at something like this, get in touch with Lee, Lee Taylor's the skipper. Get yourself booked in. I know he books up far in advance. Get yourself on a waiting list or book up for a, later in the year or next year. Book your time out and get up here and have a go. The biggest fish you're gonna catch with these sort of numbers and this sort of regularity. You know, you can go shark fishing, I understand that. Are you gonna get a 200 pound shark? Maybe once in every so many trips. Chance of multiple fish that size on it. Um, so unless anything changes, and you know I'll come back, we're all having a bit of a, a pack up and a tidy up. We're gonna do some species hunting in a minute, a bit of scratching I think, just to, just to mix things up a little bit. Black mouth dog fish, um, ling, do a little bit of mackerel fishing just to get re replenish the stocks and just a little bit of a play, end of day play to make the most of the weather. Um, this fish is proper beating them up as well. So this looks like another significant fish, albeit the tide has really picked up now. The tide's picked up, so he's not just playing the weight of the fish. Big skate, kiting in the tide. It's giving him the right old run around. But he's giving it some, he's giving it some grief straight back. So, from me, from here, for now, it's goodbye. Tight lines, happy fishing, and hope to see you sometime soon. Bye for now. <laughs>